Hypersonic inflatable decelerator is a new concept of actually being able to decelerate into a planet with an atmosphere behind an inflatable structure. We want to take large mass to other planets to support future human exploration. We have to go beyond the current technology that limits the size of the heat shields that can be carried. Inflatable systems allow us to build bigger heat shields to allow us to decelerate larger masses so that we can support the systems that are required for human space exploration. The way that the HIAD system is arranged is you'll have a payload in the center and surrounding that would be a system of tori's or these would look like inner tubes behind me. And they will be stacked in such a way that different diameters will be stacked one on top of each other and they'll be strapped together. And there will be a shield around them, a flexible blanket that's put around them to create a more smooth surface. The structural work that we're doing here at NASA Armstrong is key in the sense that we can design these systems, but what an engineering model needs to be able to do is it needs to be able to predict what the limits of those systems are. How far can we push it before it fails? Where is it going to fail and how is it going to fail? So the goal of our loads testing here at the Armstrong Flight Research Center is to understand the buckling performance of these structures under two different types of loading, compression and torsion. What you do is you just get to a point where we call it runaway displacements. So the structure actually can't take any more load and it just begins to displace radically. And at that point in time we say it's failed. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Once this data is collected, it will be sent back to NASA Langley for them to feed into their computer models so that they can better understand the behavior of high ads and design a better flight hardware to assist space exploration. That relationship has been a very uh, good relationship between NASA Langley and NASA Armstrong. There are facilities here, there are personnel here who are very experienced and very capable in doing this and we knew that we could take advantage of that to benefit the project in a very cost-effective way. And there's also the benefit of working technology with other centers because you get ideas, you get synergy between what is going on that you're doing at your center with some of the ideas that are going on at another center. <laughs>